Chapter 3 Deploying a Microservices Application Learning outcomes of this chapter are Installing Local Service Fabric Cluster Deploying the application on Local Service Fabric Cluster Creating a Service Fabric Cluster on Azure Deploying on Azure Service Fabric Cluster Fault Tolerant Microservices Deploy application on Azure and cause deliberate failures. Set up CI CD pipeline on VSTS. Installing local service fabric cluster. If you've installed service fabric SDK on your machine, then I have a good news for you. You already have everything needed to run the cluster on your local machine. Let's find out where to locate the cluster manager. Go to start menu and then find for local service fabric cluster manager. This is in this folder. This is the main location. This is the recently used icon. So th that's where you will find it first time. What you also notice is you have an icon in the system tray like this. When you first install local service fabric cluster manager or SDK, I should say, you will see the stop local cluster is grayed out and you need to start the local cluster. I've already started it previously. So all you need is just click this. Right. What we can do now is to manage the local cluster. I could click this manage local cluster and it will open up the service fabric explorer in Internet Explorer. Or you can directly go to this local host colon 19080 to get there. Right. So this is basically local service fabric cluster as you've seen previously there's nothing different you can run service fabric cluster on any os and any cloud basically it will be exactly be the same right 